Hello, my name is Sarah Emmerich and I'm an engineer with the Low Impact Development Center. The Low Impact Development Center um, is an organization where you're a nonprofit and we work with local communities to help um, integrate low impact development into their communities. What is low impact development? It is um, essentially treating stormwater, um, trying to use the most natural um, and green ways. So an engineer um, is someone who solves problems. Um, really what engineering is to me is someone who can look at a problem, whether that be um, looking at the environment or looking at a building or looking at the electronics of something um, and can really see, um, see the device or see what the problem is and trying to figure out how to problem solve and make a solution for that problem. So I am a civil engineer. I studied civil engineering when I went to college and a civil engineer really works with the environment. And so it's pretty broad. So it can be working with um, structures or infrastructure that's physically built in the environment. It can be working with um, water features or water resources or the earth and the geotechnical aspects of the earth. Um, but there's a lot of different types of engineering, everything from electrical engineering, mechanical, um, biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, um, there's a wide variety of different types of engineering that is out there. On a daily basis, I'm doing a variety of activities, um, whether that be engineering work or more outreach work. Um, some of the engineering tasks that I do might include reviewing drawings for um, a low impact development or a bioretention system or stormwater management system that's being implemented. It might be um, putting together calculations or actually designing um, a structure and stormwater management device. It might also just be kind of putting together um, and organizing different information that our clients are looking for. I could also be going out into the field. So maybe we're designing a system for a park, but we have to, you know, go out and do a survey of the trees that are in the park, or we have to go out and verify um, the sizes of different stormwater uh, features that are there um, or whatever it might be. And then looking at more of the outreach side of what I do, we work with a lot of municipal facilities and um, their stormwater management that they have on their facilities. So whether that be trainings or just general kind of communication and education or sort of helping with whatever problems um, that they might have. Typically, um, I would either be in my office or out doing field work on a site visit. So if I'm in my office, um, you know, I'll come in in the morning, kind of figure out what I have going on for the day. Oftentimes, we're managing a lot of different projects at once. So depending on where different projects are in um, their timeline, we might be focusing on one or the other. Um, usually, I'll be Go looking through some design plans and seeing if they are accurate. If I'm going out to the field that day, sometimes we'll be going to project sites that haven't begun to have construction yet. So we're just reviewing and making sure that there's no issues or challenges that might arise with the construction process. We might be going to a project that they're halfway through the construction progress. And you know, we wanna check up and make sure that they, everyone who's there is doing what they're supposed to do, they're not running into any issues, and just sort of be a resource for um, the construction workers that are building the project. We also, a lot of times, will go to closeout meetings or meetings at the very end of the project to walk through the site with the clients and make sure that um, everything that they're expecting is there, there's no hanging issues or challenges, um, that are going on and verifying that that drawing that I had looked at and you know made sure everything was correct is actually physically correct out in the environment. So I like to think of engineers as problem solvers and when it comes to working with the environment um, and working with environmental engineering or engineering in the type of work that I do, um, ultimately we are trying to solve a lot of the world's problems in terms of the environment. And so whether that be 
um, water quality and how is the storm water um, negatively impacting and pollutant, polluting the water systems, um, looking at climate change and global warming, all of these issues. Um, we are really just trying to help solve these problems in order to help better our world and the environment. So well, if you as a student are interested in engineering and potentially pursuing that, um, I definitely recommend taking a lot of math and science classes. There's a lot of math and science that is involved with whatever type of engineering you decide to pursue. In addition, if, you know, if your school has actual engineering classes, that's great. But if not, maybe there's different programs or summer opportunities in your area um, at the local um, college that you could take that kind of you'll get your toes dipped into what engineering is. Um, a lot of universities or programs offer online courses um, or even YouTube, just kind of starting to learn what is engineering? Is this something I think I could be interested in? Um, and just kind of seeing what's out there. <laughs>